And a look back at the COVID-19 jab and frail older adults, uh, those with underlying conditions like obesity and those living in deprived conditions or densely populated areas are at high risk of contracting COVID-19 infection, even after being vaccinated against the disease. This is according to a study published by Lancet Journal that highlights the crucial role vaccines play in larger efforts to prevent COVID-19 infections has been the go-to resort for countries around the globe in the fight against COVID-19, a pandemic that has so far claimed the lives of 4.5 million people globally since 2020. The results of a peer-reviewed study published in the Lancet Medical Journal indicating that vaccines are doing what they were designed to do, save lives and prevent serious illness. According to the study, less than 0.5% of those vaccinated with the first doses experienced a breakthrough infection. Within two weeks or more of getting the job, That also similar among adults who received two vaccine doses as less than 0.2% experienced a breakthrough infection. That is 2,370 positive cases out of 971,504 persons. The researchers also found that COVID-19 was less severe in participants after their first or second vaccine doses compared with unvaccinated participants. In short, a majority of those infected post-vaccination were asymptomatic and thus hospitalization or developing long COVID illness was less likely. A scenario that one hospital in Nakuru County clearly describes when they analyze the 103 COVID-19 admissions they have made since the vaccination exercise began in the counties. We've only admitted two people who had received a first dose vaccine. None of them had gotten the second dose and uh, both of them were within a week or two weeks of the vaccination. Everybody else we've admitted has not had a vaccine. The research shows that the risk of breakthrough infection is higher in frail older adults, those with underlying conditions, especially obesity, lung and kidney disease, and persons living in highly deprived areas, even after receiving the first vaccine dose and before receiving a second dose. The data was recorded between December 2020 and July 2021, tracking more than 1.2 million adults who received one coronavirus job and 971,504 who received two jobs in that time frame. The researchers are banking their hope on vaccination against COVID-19. Here in Kenya, the Ministry of Health is also speaking the same language. We are seeing a positive uh, trajectory in terms of the numbers and hopefully if the measures that we have put in place we get to vaccinate more people. We respect the public health social measures. Uh, we, we believe that the numbers are on a decline and the next day. With the arrival of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines to boost the already existing doses of Moderna and AstraZeneca, Kenya hopes to achieve its target of 10 million people vaccinated as a means to achieve herd immunity. Rakel Mwigai, Citizen TV.